everybody, Miss Sweet here from Miss Sweet's Craft and Therapy. How y'all doing? Well, today is the final part, um, your installment of my lucky bags. And you may be able to see they're kind of taking up my whole table, but I've got three here. I've got two Karomi bags and one from Swimmer. Um, so we're going to open... Um, my first Karomi bag first, we'll go into the swimmer, and then the last Karomi bag. Um, so I'm going to put them all down now. And we're going to do some opening to see what we got. So this is the first one I'm going to start with. This one is, oh, it's got stuff on it. Um, absolutely adorable. Um, I love this. Again, this is like a canvas. Um, that's the back. And it's got handles. I would consider this more, I would probably use this more as like an overnight bag or something. Um, not as a grocery bag or shopping bag. So, all right, let's see what we've got. It's a little hard with this one. Um, where is it? Okay, there it is. All right, so I think I'm going to put this to the side Ooh, okay wow and let's see let me pull out the first thing all right so it looks like what we have here is one of those storage bins that's pretty cool Yep, that's exactly what it is. So we have a storage bin. So it just has her on the front there, handles on the sides. But nice little storage box there. Awesome. I use that a lot for all my craft items. All right, what else do we got? All right, this looks like, I like this design. It's very pretty pastel. Uh, where's the, oh, there it is. It's a pouch, a drawstring pouch. So those are nice. And it's got Karomi on both sides. Like I said, these are specifically Sanrio Karomi bags. Um, so any any products in there are going to be Karomi. Um, and they sold, um, they had a Karopi bag. They had Hello Kitty. They had Cinnamon Roll, um, Pachaco. They all, had all those different bags that you could get. But Karomi being my favorite, um, that's what I went for. All right, so we've got... A drawstring pouch. What else do we have? Oh, of course, this one's a little bigger. Um, so this one is more like a hand towel. Well, that one's really cute. Oh, and we got Baku there too, her little evil sidekick. That's pretty. I love the pink too. All right, let's see what else. Oh, what is this? Huh. I think, oh, it's a little blanket. Oh no, it's a pillow sham. Oh my, now that's adorable. Now I have mostly um, king size pillows. This would be um, for a regular size pillow, but that's pretty neat. I like that. Sleep tight, we'll play again tomorrow. That's pretty awesome. Didn't expect that. All right, and this is the last item. We've got another pillow, and this is, I think, even bigger than the last two we've seen, pillow-wise. There's not going to be any room for me on my own bed. Oh, my goodness. This one is even softer than the others. It's like mochi. Oh, my goodness. 
It's so soft. And it's that kind of velvety material. Oh my. Oh, that's so awesome. So that was so the bag plus the cloth, the pillow cover, the pouch, the pillow, and the bag. And I think these were 52. Those are pretty neat. I love this. And the skull here is pink. I like that. Normally black. All right. I'll get back there, Chip. Let me get those out of the way. Get back up there. All right. Let's go for the swimmer bag. Um, we got something in there in the box. And they're smushy in there, too. And it's got some carousel horses. Thought they were unicorns when I first bought it, so that's why I asked for this one, but I still love the bag. It's pink on the front, solid purple on the back. All right, let's see. And we got a water bottle. So just like the design of the bag. Follow your dreams with the two carousel horses. Pinks and purple. That's really cute. What's next? Oh, all right. So we have, this one's a, yeah, definitely a child size bento box. Let's see, we've got here in the top, we got some chopsticks and those are child size chopsticks. And then Got the separator. Come on, get back in there. Maybe this way. There. Well, then you got the separator that might go the other way. It might be easier that way. I don't know. I'll figure it out if I go to use it. But so that's really cute. I might just send that to my granddaughter. She still goes to school, and then it has the strap, so you can keep it together. Pretty good. That's pretty. And it's the same design as the bag. So I'm going to say this bag was pretty much designed. What do we have here? All right. So we have a pouch that has a see through window. This is canvas material, and it has some, a divider in the in the middle, and it opens up pretty good. So that's a pretty good size if you want it to be a cosmetic bag or, you know, a travel bag, where you put your, uh, well, your, you know, shampoo, that's the kind of stuff. So that's pretty cute. Makes it easier for customs to see through it, what's in it. <laughs> Right. What else do we got? Right, some blue and yellow here. I'm thinking this one is a blanket. Ugh, just got an awful smell of plastic. Yep. So we have like a little, a little lap blanket with the same horses. This time though, they have the rainbow hair. Follow your dreams with bows. And it's printed that way. Oh. Now that was Dale. Printed the same back and front. And it's um, fleece. Fleece material with a nice bright yellow border. That's cute. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to go there with you. And then we've got... A pillow that matches everything. Where's the opening for this one? Well, this one I'd have to cut open. The other ones are the little plasticky ones, so I can put them back in. So I'm just going to keep this one in the bag. 
but you can see it's the same. And it's got that kind of blue green that'll match that blanket. And pink bows. It says the brand says swimmer on it. But that's cute. And then let's see, we got, oh, a mirror. It's in a, 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 um, a bendy, I can't remember what you call that plastic. I'm losing it. So it has a coating on it, but yep, you got a little mirror encased in plastic. And it's that bendy type plastic, soft plastic. So cute. That would be cute to carry around in your bag, in your cosmetic bag. All right, and then we've got one more item, which I have no idea what it is. What is this? Huh, looks like just a bucket. Tape. Nice. Cut the tape. Oh. Oh. So it's a bucket. Pink with the white and pink horses. So I guess it's just like a little storage container. It's got a cute little bow. Could use that also as a little um I don't know if I ever showed you my, I think I did in one video, my little Snoopy trash can that stays on my desk. So like when I'm cutting little things or little pieces of, you know, taking backings of stickers, I can just stick them right in my little trash can. Um, so you could use this for that on your desk too. So just open, you know, put your stuff in, close it up. And when you're ready, you can empty it. Little, it's convenient for, you know, journaling and when you're cutting things and you have all those scraps. So that's really cute. That's pretty. And I like that little bow on the top as the handle. That's cute. Or a little candy. Yeah, that's lots of things. All right. Well, that was the swimmer bag. Follow your dreams. That was pretty decent. So we got one, two, three four, five, six, seven items out of that one. That was a pretty decent one. All right, now we've got the final Karomi. This is it for this year. Unless they have more. I think they're still working on getting everything distributed. I was hoping they may have any leftover uh, stationary bags. I don't know if they do yet. They haven't said yes or no yet. Um, so if they do, I may go after some more of those. Um, but I got my last Karomi bag here. So let me put back the swimmer. And where are you? There you are. Get back there. And let's see what we've got in here. What's this? Ooh. I got a little magnetic board. That's adorable. So Karomi looks tough, but she's actually a girly girl and she has a soft spot for good looking guys. Hmm. Watch out for that Karomi. All right, what else? Okay, soap dispenser bottle. So you fill it with your own soap. So it's just a bottle with Karomi on it. That's cute. All right, this looks like another pouch. I, I'm glad that like every bag, you know, I got three Karomi bags, but every bag was different. You know, nothing duplicated in pattern or anything. So we have another little pouch. Um, I'd say this is definitely more of a cosmetic pouch. 
or whatever, but I don't, yeah, we wouldn't, I don't think we'd really use this for our pens and pencils. Yeah, they're not going to fit in there. These darn pens keep falling over. But that's really cute. <laughs> well, her little faces. In the back, it's just black with purple polka dots. And has that nylon. It's a faux leather um, bag. So it's cute. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with all these bags. I don't know yet. Oh, okay, so we've got some food storage containers. I got some, some just like this in that Snoopy lottery that I showed you quite a while back. So I'm thinking there's another one inside. Yep. So they're, they come with two sizes. They call them food storage containers. Um, but I will find other purposes for them. And they will not be food storage containers. Same thing with my Snoopy. I put them to the side, and uh, when I'm able to finally find a place to buy and move, um, when I set up my craft room, because that's one of my requirements, I have to have an extra room just for it to be my craft room, um, I will find uses for all of these containers. So I can't wait. Like my Snoopy has a smaller one that I'm, I'm thinking I may use now. Uh, for paper clips. What is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got a little seat. <laughs> How cute is that? it's not in English but it's okay that is really adorable of course not something I could use um, and I think it's actually even too big for my granddaughter um, so I don't know what I'll do with that we shall see but that's adorable okay and it looks like more towels and that matches, this matches the pattern on the soap dispenser. Oh, but so soft. All right, so this one's more like a bath towel. With Karomi on it. So she's just on the corner there, an embroidered, that's an embroidered patch. Very soft terry cloth. Really nice. So that does match the soap dispenser. Let's see. What else do we have? Do we have? Okay, this is the last thing. Uh oh. Oh, my pile just had an avalanche. Let's see what this is. I didn't get a sneak peek of um, these last couple of bags. Like, I didn't see anybody else opening them, so I have no clue what's in them. some tape here. Oops. Let me get my hand out of the way. That should do it. Okay. Oh, a rice bowl. And it's ceramic. That is, or soup bowl, I guess, yeah. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. In her little cafe waitress outfit. And that matches the bag. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love that. 
And yes, it made it here in one piece from Japan. Okay, so you can see that it matches. I don't remember if I showed you the front of this bag. But this is the front of that bag and this matches it. And this bag is really pretty. I really, I think this is my favorite as far as print goes. I really like it. So that was the final lucky bag I got. So I hope you enjoyed um, opening these with me. Um, let me know your comments below. Um, I'll put again, that I obtained all of this uh, merchandise through um, uh, ball pens, etc. cetera, on, on uh, Instagram. They are a um, bona fide business in Japan um, that does personal shopping. Um, like yesterday, I'll tell you an example. I mean, of course it's done during Japan time. So, um, 10 o'clock in the morning there is eight o'clock at night in the East coast in the United States. Um, and that's when they started the live sale. Um, and they were in Tokyo and they were by the temple and they were, um, going through the shops that are along, um, the way to the temple. Um, so got a lot of, you know, they had a lot of Yes, it's set for touristy, but there really isn't any tourism. And these shops are, you know, these people are hurting. They're they're not having the same business without the tourism. Um, but got a night, lot of nice things. Um, you know, non-character, but actually things made in Japan, symbolism of Japan. Um, so I got, a, actually, I got a demon mask. Um, a small one, because they were pretty expensive. Um, I got a Sakura charm. Um, I forgot. There was a, quite a few things. Um, a, Shiba, uh, a Shiba Inu I got. what a, I can't remember it all. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, that was really a, a different experience of the, that I had with them. Um, and then they also went to the uh, Tokyo Ghibli store. And I think they got to the Tokyo um, Sumo Garashi. Sum, yeah. Sumiko Garashi um, Tokyo store. Um, so I kind of left once they hit them. It was, I think one o'clock in the morning here by the time they hit those. And I was just, I had it. Um, but yeah, they do a lot of different things. Um, and they're very friendly and, um, very easy to work with. Um, for your first time shopping though, I know they will ask you, they usually ask for a hundred dollar deposit. If you're going to shop on a live, you have to register first and uh, do a hundred dollar deposit um, and then you can join the live and shop and that's for your first time um, then they'll kind of say well give us you know as they shop give us a deposit kind of keep track of what you're buying and send us some money and then once uh, they close out the sales um, they send you an invoice uh, of how much everything was and you know less the amount you've already put a deposit on um, so very easy to work with. And, you know, and if you say, hey, I'll pay you in three days or something like that, you know, something reasonable. Once they send your invoice, as long as you communicate with them, you know, you need one or two days to uh, pay it. They're good with that. But they're not going to ship your goods out, obviously, until you've uh, paid your full invoice. So, And they do ship DHL right now because surface mail can take two to three months. Um, the regular mail is still not letting them ship out. Well... The surface mail, I guess that's what it is, but because the pandemic is just out of whack and uh, they can also do EMS, but there's um, EMS is a little bit cheaper, but they're not insured. So if your package goes missing, it goes missing. Um, DHL is. So, so those are just some of the, my experiences and what I've heard with people, you know, who went the EMS route and didn't go DHL and vice versa. But, you know, that's always your decision. They'll tell you how much cost of shipping is, you know, with each way. And as I explained before, there is a, you know, a shopper's fee added on to the price of the items. Um, but they'll tell you the price when they're shopping of what the price is with their shopping fee on it. Um, so, you know, if you want to get that item or not. All right. Well, that's the end of this series for this year. Um, hopefully we'll get some more lucky bags next year. 
um, we'll see what they can are different every year. So we'll never know what we'll get. Um, I might go for some more cinnamon roll next year um, since I did all Karomi this year. Uh, but we'll see. And we'll see what they have out there. And they may not have a cinnamon roll. Who knows? Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, and thank you for your support. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye now. Thank you.